some dirt, some actual proper just soil. Hey, welcome to another video. I can uh, talk freely because it's Sunday, 7 a.m. That's no, not crazy bit, crazy early, is it? 7 a.m. But it does mean the other humans haven't got up yet and they haven't started driving vehicles yet. So I have free roads for a bit. I'm gonna do a 200 on my fixed gear bike today. I'll catch you on the road. So right now I've started, I'm on the route. It's cold though. My face is freezing off and I, I haven't brought those toe cap things that you, I put over my toes to keep my toes warm. So I've just got shoes. And I'm gonna go down to Sweets Cafe at Wedmore. Classic route that I like to use. Absolute ninja. Whoa, bro, I'm on the motorway. But I'm not really, I'm just crossing the, uh, I don't know, the Avon or something to uh, go to Port, Portbury. Yeah, M5 here, M5. Recipe for a good Audax in the winter is dry weather, not much wind, no ice on the road, and today we've got that. So let's give thanks to the gods of the dirt. Hope we find some piles today and uh, happy days. As you well know, it's very important to have a resilient gooch for long distance bicycle rides because the gooch will have constant pounding and chafage. But I have a new plan for increasing gooch resilience. Bear with me. Basically, next time you change your inner tube, swap one in that's been patch repaired. Make sure it's a nice big patch, one of the cheap crappy ones. And uh, make sure it's been stored in the cold so that the patch is almost solid, yeah? Put it on the bike, pump it up, and what you have is a flat spot. That's what I've got today. I'm training. So as the uh, wheel goes around, every time it hits the flat spot, you just feel a bang go straight through the gooch. And I'm just looking forward to, in a few months time, having one of the most resilient gooches around. And that's today's tip. I'm training gooch resilience. Don't know if that will catch on, but there we go. When it comes to resilience from that lot, that's what pendants are for. Pendants. Yeah. I've made to the seaside. See what uh, Western Supermare has got to offer today. Last time I came along here, I fell off. There's a bit of metal on the floor my front wheel washed out and I hit the deck but it was very slow so it was okay nice morning walk on a Sunday morning on the seafront lovely I've stopped because um, that's run out of batteries two and a half hours pardon okay back on I've plugged him in I'm going for the full nine hours See if it can, can run for nine hours. External battery pack plugged in. All right, I've done a lot of hard work. I'm about maybe three, three and a half hours in and I'm on the Somerset levels. So it's gonna get nice and flat. Last time I was here, I thought they were building wind turbines, but it turns out they've built maybe power lines. Take a look. There's a girt one there. Is that power lines? Looks like it's gonna be. Kind of looks like an airport runway at the same time. All right, let's go. Let's go and get a coffee at Sweets Cafe if it's open. There is a classic part of fresh manure dirt in that field. Hope you can see it, hope you're enjoying it, like I am, right now. Hear the church bell? It's 
up there somewhere. Sorry to bang on, but just approaching Pile of Dirt, capital of the southwest, Shapwick. Feast your eyes. Piles for as far as you can see in every direction. I'll keep this going. Absolute treat. Piles of all colours and creeds. Some light piles. Some dark piles. Don't buy peat compost, people. It's not good. This is where it comes from, I think. And Ireland. Piles of dirt everywhere. Got some regrowth on that lot. So fertile. Just been past Bertle. Fertile in Bertle. Here we go, parked up. That's fully charged right now. It's fully charged, so it's all good. Oh, it's got colder. My fingers are gonna fall off. They gave me two slices of bread. Wow, well, toast, I ordered toast. You're not gonna get a load, are you? I've got two slices of bread. So I'm gonna stop here at Bertle Village Hall. Smash another six. Got Paddington Bear supplies today. Marmalade sandwiches, basically. Let's get the marmalade sandwiches out and uh, top up my carbohydrates to a more appropriate level. There they are, sweating away. Join the rural sounds of birds, cars, and occasionally the sound of what appears to be maybe cows being artificially inseminated in the distance. Can't beat it. Yes. Tick in the box. Can just about see those pylons in the distance. They must be uh, for Hinkley Point. Yeah. Just had a look at the uh, computer here. It does say two degrees. Two degrees, that's bloody cold. Um, it's not actually two though. The problem is the Wahoo's got a bit of a complex. It, it always exaggerates. If it's hot, it's three degrees hotter than it actually is. If it's cold, two to three degrees colder than it actually is you got to take it with a pinch of salt so um it says two it's four or five degrees in reality i would imagine it's like that person you know that's always bullshitting uh you know you go to tenerife they go to 11 a reef they're always one up so this wahoo's got a bit of that complex going on but i'm one step ahead of you um, I know you Garmin Wahoo thing, you're not going to beat me, I understand. Anyway, rant over, let's crack on. Back to North Bristol we go, currently on the Somerset level still. Warming up a bit underneath this uh, extra emergency gilet that I brought. Oh, a little bit of dirt down there, the tide's gone out. A couple of hours ago it was all the way in. Just getting to uh, Q Stoke right now. I've already been through Western Supermare. I survived, just about. When are these lanes gonna end? I believe I've got 55 kilometers to go. I'm getting tired now. So this must be LEL training ride number two for me. I'm training early, it's January. I might get back from this 200 in the light in January. I'm training so hard right now, I'm gonna be... What happens if you, what's the prize for winning LEL? I might be on for winning LEL. 
I need to know what the prize is so I've got motivation to keep training. Do you reckon they'd give you a pig like they gave Primoz Rodlich in some of them races? Gave him a pig, a little piglet at the end of the race. I could do with a little piglet, that would be quite good. I could put the piglet in the garden, couldn't I? If the prize is a piglet, I'll, I'll really, I'll, I'll do my utmost to win. Although I might just win anyway, just due to this high level of training. Lambs. Quick sandwich. Hello, I left you just there. If I hold the sandwich up. to the 5G tower, it might heat it up like a microwave. Can you see it getting heated up? Mm. Oh, about 12, 15 Ks maybe to go. I'm gonna make it. This is gonna be done. Not long left and I think it will be light still when I get back. Okay, I'm done. My camera's picked up like eight and a half hours worth of clowns behind me doing close passes, so maybe I'll put them up on the screen. Tell me which one your favourite is. Watch out for gout. See you later.